listening to our favorite song, 3.5 Super Systems. This is my favorite thing to do in algebra was to solve systems. Now we're going to solve super systems. Basically, we have three equations and three unknowns, an x, a y, and now a z. All right, so these are kind of fun. Um, to solve them, if you notice, all the x's are lined up, all the y's are lined up, all the z's are lined up, and all the equal signs are lined up. When everything is lined up nice and perfectly like that, um, the best uh, method to use would be elimination method. Now, we're going to go step by step, and we're going to show as much work as possible. Um, to eliminate, you guys get to decide what letter you want to eliminate first, all right? And it doesn't really matter. Sometimes a certain letter is harder to eliminate than others. Sometimes a letter is easier to eliminate than others. Um, it all depends on the problem, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and take the top two equations and rewrite them. I just rewrote them by themselves. Um, and I'm going to eliminate the y value. To eliminate the y value, I'm going to have to multiply this entire second equation by 2. Okay, there's the top equation. I haven't done anything to it. But the bottom equation, I'm going to multiply by 2 to everything. And that should give me 4x plus 2y plus 5z is equal to 16. Don't forget to multiply the 2 with the 8 as well. A lot of people forget that. All right, so once I do that, notice what happens. The y's cancel out. Add them together, I get 5x plus 13z equals 19. All right, I wrote that green because I'm going to go back to it in a little bit. So we've done all we can with those two. Now you're going to choose another two equations from the original and do the same thing. Okay, in this case, I think I'm going to choose the bottom two equations now. There they are. But here's the thing is I've already decided that I'm going to eliminate the y. So when I continue, I still have to eliminate the y. I just I can't just change in the middle of the problem on what letter I want to eliminate. So once you've committed to eliminating y, you're going to do that all the way. So this is the second two equations. Um, it looks like the y's might cancel without me having to do much work. And see, sometimes it works out nicely like that. Sometimes it doesn't, but this time it did. This time it did. And there we have it. 5x plus 2z equals negative 14. Guess what I'm going to do with those two green equations. Now I'm going to put them together. And now I have a system with two equations and two unknowns. Now we're back to something we're more familiar with. All right. Now that y is all gone, let's go ahead and eliminate another letter. I can see in this problem that it might be a little bit easier to eliminate the x. All right, I rewrote the first equation. I'm going to multiply everything in the second equation by negative 1. That changes the sign of everything. When I do that, and I combine them all, the 5x's go away, and I'm left with 11z is equal to 33. And from here, it is a simple pre-algebra problem. Divide both sides by 11, you get z equals 3. That is only one third of the answer. All of that work just to get one third of the answer. We still need to find the other two letters. All right, the way you do that is you take the z and you plug it back into one of the um, green equations, either one of the green equations, either into that z or into that z. It doesn't matter. I decided to put it in the second one. Um, so when I plug in 
negative 3 into the second equation. I'll erase some things to make it a little bit neater. I have that. Simplify a little bit. Subtract 6 from both sides. Divide both sides by 12, uh, 5. And we have our x. Two answers down. We got one left to go. What do you think you have to do now? Yep, you're going to take our z that we already solved for, and we're going to take our x that we just solved for, and plug it into any one of the three original equations, any one you want. I think I decided to do it to the top equation. And it doesn't matter, but I just ch chose to plug everything into the top. So I plugged in a negative 4 for the x, um, and then a 3 for the z. Simplify a little bit. Combine some like terms. Subtract the 5. Divide by negative 2. And we have our third and final answer. Y is equal to 1. The way I would like you to write the answer is in alphabetical order like this x equals negative 4, y equals 1, and z equals 3. All right, look at this problem. One problem, but it took the entire board to do. And I think it's kind of cool because all of that work, not a single mistake, and you come up with the answer. It's kind of cool. I like it. Here's another example. Notice this one looks a little bit weird. It's missing some things. The first equation is missing a z. The second equation is missing an x. And then the third equation is missing a y. So each equation is missing a different letter, which makes it a little bit difficult to, to solve for, but it's not too difficult. Um, when that happens, you're going to go ahead and use the elimination method um, so that um, you can solve for all of these. So. The first part of elimination method, uh, not elimination method, um, substitution method is uh, you have to decide what you need to solve for to substitute. I'm just going to take the first one just because it's the first one written. And I'm going to solve for x. So to solve for x, I have to add the 3y to the other side and then divide everything by 2. I kind of did that in my head so that the, the work is not really there. But there it is. I've solved for x. Um, I'm going to circle it just for fun. What do you think I'm going to do with that x? Substitute it into this x. Let's do that. There it is, 5, and then in parentheses, that whole thing that we just solved for. Um, and then you get something kind of messy. Let's try to clean it up. Let's distribute the 5. Distributing the 5 gives us that. Um, and then sometimes it looks too messy with all that fraction and two fractions and two whole numbers. So remember with these systems, you can multiply the entire equation by something to get rid of the fractions. Um, in this case, if I multiply everything by 2, this is what I get. This 2 will cancel that one out. This 2 will cancel that one out. The 2 with the 7 makes the 14. And then the 2 with the negative 15 makes the negative 30. All right? Even then, we can clean it up a little bit. This 25 I can bring to the other side. And I have 15y plus 14z is equal to negative 55. All right. So we're kind of down to just two letters, y and z. Notice we haven't even looked at the middle equation from the very beginning. We've already worked with this equation. We've already substituted into this equation, but we haven't even looked at this one. So now we're going to go ahead and take it and bring it down here. 
the 4y plus 2z equals negative 6. And guess what? We have a pretty simple system now with two equations and two unknowns that we can solve for using any method. Maybe since the y's are lined up, the z's are lined up, and the equal signs are lined up. Elimination method again. What letter do you think I want to eliminate? Maybe z. What if I multiplied this whole thing by a negative 7? What happens then? The top equation just stays the same, but at, at the bottom equation turns into this multiplying everything by negative 7. Notice that the z's will eliminate and we just have negative 13 equals a uh, negative 13 y equals negative 13. Divide both sides by negative 13 and we have our first answer. Take this one, plug it back into any of the um, two green ones that we were working with. Um, your choice, you can plug it into here or you can plug it into the top one. It doesn't matter. Looks like the bottom one's a slightly bit smaller numbers, so we'll work with those. Um, if I plug a 1 into the y, simplify it a little bit, divide both sides by 2, and we have our second answer. And then guess what we have to do now? Yes, you're going to go ahead and plug um, the y or the z into any of the equations uh, that are the original three white equations. I decided to choose the third one. It's not the easiest one, but it was the one closest to the, the, the one that had the most space underneath it to work with. All right, so what I did was I just took the z and I plugged the z into this z. And then it becomes a regular pre-algebra problem. Simplify, add 35 to both sides, divide everything by 5. And we have our third and final answer. All right, written in coordinate form, 4, 1, negative 5. And again, there that wasn't the only way to do it. You could have um, used this y as answer and plugged it into here. That would have gotten you an x as well. So there's lots of ways to go. And as you can see, there's arrows all over the place. Um, but as long as you stay organized, um, then you should be okay.